Hello. Right, so off camera, I've been trying to fix up the leaks of this thing, which uh, you know, it took it took a while to fix to get all the leaks done. I've uh, used some fiberglass around the sides, over the top here, over the connections, um, and then covered it all in the rubber paint. I'm trying to make the I'm just trying to seal it up as best I can so it's all covered in the black rubber paint now everywhere except the bubbler and the reservoir so I'm going to stick it down here gonna plug it in I've got these two these wires come to here so I'm just gonna connect this to the battery now and see if it works all right and go See the fluid level rising. You hear it making a noise. Where's the noise coming from there? So, right, looks like there's still a leak. Somewhere. Oh, goodness. This is really getting me angry now. I'm just going to rip it apart and start a new one, I think. <laughs> oh, just look at this weather, eh? The British summer. Anyway. I've just painted a load of more of this rubber paint up there. Plastic it. Put it in there, covering up all the holes, and I'm gonna, just going to wait for it to dry a bit. It doesn't take long, and then I'll do the other side. Right, back again. Um, I've got some bit better news, I suppose. Um, I think these tubes they must be blocked some way down or something but I've cut them now um, I've blocked this one off and I've got this one I've just added a little temporary tube going into one of the tops and just going down there the tube's not long enough to go in the water <coughs> but uh, I just tried it for a second there and it, and it was working so I'm just going to turn it on again now. See, I've hooked up the amps now, so I'll just add it on now. How many is that? About nine and a half, ten amps, nine amps. See the gas coming out? And you 
can see the fluid just going up there for that little hole. You can see the fluid rising up. It's bubbling up down there, and you can see the bubbles through the tube. And now that there's some pressure within the the whole unit, the the level of water has rise has risen against the uh, above the bottom level of the the tube now. This has got. 350 millilitres of distilled water in there and 10 grams KOH and it's running 9 amps 14.1 volts at the moment but it's working like, like a dry cell would and the fluid's been pushed up through there through the pipes back down into the bubbler or fluid separator and it's just the gas escaping at the top so am I pleased? well 50-50 I'm glad it's working I'm glad I can see it working now or I couldn't before um, but I'm disappointed that it didn't work the way it was intended to. So. Anyway, it's getting hard to breathe in here now. <laughs> I'll turn it off. <laughs> right, I'll just leave this pointed at this when I, when I disconnect it. And you can see it immediately stops, pressure drops, water level returns. Right. Got it hooked up again. See the uh, tube got going up round the top there, then back down. That's so if any fluid just goes up there, it will just come back down and this will go into here which will lift this 500 this bottle up which I've marked on there you can see where the water line should be 500 millilitres see we're at nine and a half ten amps go between those so 9.75 13.97 volts got my stopwatch and we will begin now Up. One minute seventeen point nine. Doesn't seem very promising. <laughs> 